Good morning, everybody. It's Tuesday, March 22nd today. Uh, there was no video from Monday yesterday. Britt and I had uh, an appointment to run into the city. I had a meeting at work in the morning, and then we had uh, a couple of stops to make in the city regarding our IVF procedure that uh, uh, is now officially on the road. It's go time. It all started yesterday. Really excited. I'm hoping that this road will take us down the path towards parenthood. Very excited about that. We'll, we'll see what happens and keep our fingers and toes crossed. And I guess we'll find out uh, in the next few months. But today, we're doing some trucking. I got to move out of the Western Star today and move into 3006, the Peterbilt Day Cab. It's been very nice having the sleeper right behind me. Uh, and, uh, you know, we took two trips up to Norway House. Up in northern Manitoba last week is nice just to be able to jump in the sleeper because it was an overnight and uh, We're aware of that and eventually my truck will have like a little sleeper on the back of it Just so that those overnights are a little bit easier and I don't got to switch trucks, but you know We're working on that for now. This Western Star is going to be open and available for uh, a driver We're trying to put a highway driver in it. It's a deck truck. So it'll be on deck division Once again, if you want to work here. You can reach me at trucker Josh at KeystoneWestern.com, we're a Canadian-based company, so uh, you've got to be a Canadian citizen, permanent resident, or be living here already with your work visa, two years experience, and uh, even if you don't, if you, if you want to reach out to me, Trucker Josh, KeystoneWestern.com, maybe we can work something out and put you in one of our trucks here and get you running, and get you trucking on the road doing what I'm doing, and doing what I've been doing uh, over the last you know decade or so. Uh, I've been really happy, I really enjoyed. it. would love to see you here. Don't forget, Truck World is coming up April 21st to 23rd at the International Center in Toronto, Ontario. I'm going to be there. You can get in for free using my promo code TWJOSH. So it's TW for Truck World, TWJOSH, and that'll get you in the door for free when you register for your admission. So I'd love to see you there. It's going to be a lot of fun. There's going to be all kinds of exhibits, all the new technologies. It's sort of like, uh, for my American friends, it's sort of a, a version of Canadian maps like the Mid-American Truck Show, except it's Truck World. It's different, it's up here in Canada, and uh, I'd love to see you there. Even if you're from the States, you want to come up and see us. Uh, I'm going to be at Booth 20 along with Keystone Western. We'd love to meet you there April 21st to 23rd in Toronto at the International Centre. Uh, let me know if you're planning on coming. I'll keep an eye out for you. It's time to say goodbye to the Western Star. At least for now. Time to crawl back into the old Pete. Kind of missed this truck, you know? I missed having all my equipment with me all the time. All right. Okay. Hello, old girl. Did you miss me? Be honest. Be honest. Before we do anything, let's just... Make sure the oil's all good. Oh, and uh, this front will be able to come off very soon. We're going to open this all up now, actually. All the way. And uh, we might have a couple of cold snaps yet, because this is Manitoba. So I'm just going to wait a week or two before I take the whole thing right off of here. But uh, we'll open this up anyways, just so that we can get proper airflow into there. It's a lot warmer than it was. All these things just hold it in place. There we go. One more. There, see? That'll be coming off soon though. Okay. Take a look with me. So this alternator is relatively new. This was just replaced, uh, well, probably less than 10,000 kilometers ago, less than 5,000 miles ago. Decent, decent. It's nice that it's not minus a million outside. I can actually check all this stuff without freezing my face off. One second, I gotta get past the hood here without actually closing. Excuse me and my expert camera skills. Let me check the oil here. 
right full. That's good, they did a service on it. Everything else is connected in here. Everything's looking good. Oh, we got some new tie rods. Show you this here. Until this piece is new here, or newer. I don't know if they replaced it this time or recently. Because it's been in the shop uh, for a while now. It looks like this has got some grease on it already, so this probably wasn't done too recently. But, okay. Let's uh, see if she'll start up for us. Close the hood up. Don't forget to latch it. We all forget sometimes. You really shouldn't. You don't want to forget that. Oh, I got grease all over my steps here. Nice. I have to wash that off. Okay. Okay, moment of truth, everybody. You guys ready? Let her do her cycle. She looks beautiful. Yeah. I lost one storage box on this side. That's okay. It was getting a little old. Uh, I don't know if they'll replace it or not, but uh, either way. She's got a uh, nice little gap there right now. I think that looks okay. I'm fine with that. I'm pretty sure that front is going to come off uh, at the end of this week. I just want to make sure that there's no extra cold snaps. And it just needs a little bit of paint, you know, around the edges and stuff. And maybe I can take care of that. I like doing those kinds of things on the weekends. I usually spend my weekend, if I don't have other plans or, uh, you know, doing other things with family or whatnot, I usually spend my weekends washing, cleaning, polishing cars and trucks. It's something that gives me, uh, I guess, relaxes me, de-stresses me. Uh, sometimes I got uh, trouble with anxiety and stuff, you know, even Trucker Josh, I know. You know what I do? I just start cleaning stuff, start cleaning trucks, making things better, making things look better, and that uh, it helps me. So I enjoy doing that. That's why I do that, even on my own time. It's something that I like doing. So the load I'm picking up is going to California, and because the load's going to California, we have to make sure that our equipment is legal to run in California. California has different uh, different rules about the length of your truck, from the center of your steer axle on your truck to the center of your rear axle on the trailer. And sometimes the spread like we have it here is a little bit too long for California roads. That's why we have a lift axle on the back here. Not only is it to save rubber and save fuel, also when you go to California, you lift that up and now the length of your truck is from the center of your steer axle to the center of this axle because that becomes your rear axle. It also works good when you go on toll roads where you're tolled by the axle. So right now I got one, two, three, four, five, six axles on the ground. I'd have to pay for six axles on the toll road. If I don't need that axle down for weight reasons, you lift that up and now on the toll road, I'm only being charged for five axles. You save money that way. So there's multiple reasons why we have lift axles. I'll show you how they work. You go right under here. Is down turn that to up watch that back axle that airbag there in plates and now that's my rear axle and that one's just there for show the 
if you're wondering why a truck's going down the road with an axle lifted, that's why. One of the reasons. There's many. Some trailers have all lift axles on here, so that just one axle's on the ground, so that when you're empty, you can save the other tires and just run on one axle, right? Some of the new trucks even have one of the drive axles there that'll lift off the ground, so when you're empty, you can get as many tires off the pavement as possible. Saves wear and tear, saves fuel, and saves toll, toll costs, especially when you're down in the US. Sometimes you have to pay up to like five, six bucks per axle. So, adds up after a while. I'm trying to see all the new stuff that this truck got. This little airline here is new, you can tell that. Got a new brake pot down there, slack adjuster. The other ones looked like they were good and must have passed the safety. Right, this got done. This box got taken out. Uh, I think that's a new hub in the center. The other side definitely got a new hub. This one got a new hub here. And oh, I got a new muffler here, passenger side. There was a big uh, leak, an exhaust leak coming down here before. So I got a new new muffler, new clamp, new adjustable uh, line there. Oops. Take that with me. I think that's it. I think that's it, yeah. Who knows, I don't, uh, I didn't get an actual list of everything that was done. I'm just happy to be back in her. Oh yeah, let's hear those pipes sing. It's been a while. Oh, that's beautiful. Just getting going. It's been a while since we've been able to listen to a real truck. Yeah, I missed that. Well, the new muffler didn't make it that much more quiet. It is a little more quiet. That's okay. The new trucks just never quite sound the same. They're Jake brakes, or they call them compression brakes. They're a little different than Jake brakes. They always gotta make them as quiet as possible now, right? That seems to be the thing with new trucks. You know, quieter the better. They always talk about how quiet their trucks run. What about those of us that like to hear the trucks? What about those of us who like loud trucks? There's never any options or packages you can have for louder and more meaty sounding trucks, right? You can add all kinds of other extras onto the trucks, but there's never like an option for loud pipes on new trucks. Unless there is, and I'm just not, I don't go buy new trucks all the time, I don't really know, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that they don't offer those options. I think they should, you know, you want to have a loud truck with some loud pipes, why should you have to do it with the aftermarket stuff? Why not just, why not just roll it right out of the factory like that? I think they would sell pretty good. Maybe we should make a campaign, make trucks sound like trucks again. Here we are, we got the trailer all opened up. Shipper's just over there, he's gonna grab my, uh, I think there's four pieces. Usually that's what I'm pick, what I pick up here. It's going to California, like I said. I'm gonna throw it up on here, I'm gonna tie it down, close it up, and send it on its way. Bring it back to the yard and ask whoever takes it down there to take a picture of a palm tree for me. Bring it back. You know what, you know what, do one better for me, could you? Uh, Take a palm tree back, just take it, rip it right out of the ground, bring it back for me. I'm gonna plant it in my in my backyard. Let's see how it does. That's what it looks like. Nice and easy. 
Let's button her up and officially send her on her way, shall we? California. Lucky. I like the look of this truck. It seems to sit lower, you know? Maybe it's just the style of truck that it is and the fact that it doesn't have a sleeper on it, but... That's why I kind of like the, the looks of the flat top sleepers, you know? Keep the trucks down low, but the stack's up high, right? I'm happy to have this one back. This truck is... Uh, Maneuvers. I'll just say it maneuvers a lot easier. But it is a little small. <laughs> a little bit cramped in here. Look at this. I'm just almost. Yikes. We have a, one of my co workers. He's like six foot two. And he drives uh, 2025 now. Or I don't know if he's still in it or not. But he was assigned to 2025. And he's so tall that his knees literally press up against the dashboard here and the seats are pushed all the way back. The shop always puts these on the seats when they use them. I just left it on here for today. I have new seat covers. I just have to bring them with me and put them on. I figure, eh, I'll just leave it on there for today. Uh, tomorrow, hopefully I'll have time. I can quickly throw those new seat covers I got from off. I got them sitting at home just waiting. Eat, eat. Practicing my Scottish still. It's the only Scottish I know. <laughs> oh, turn the lights on. There we go. I kind of nosed myself in here, but that's okay. I had to avoid all the, the mud and water over to my right over there. That time of year, but it's only going to be here for a few days. There's all that water there. Springtime in Manitoba. I'm just gonna back myself right up here. Uh, hook it. And we're gonna make a sharp turn. There we go. I think I can make it. Oh, I'll have to back up again, well that's okay. Beautiful. European truck. Just hold on, she's not done singing yet. It's only just started. so much this camera never does it justice either the audio is the best I can get it right now with my GoPro but oh you can just imagine you can just feel it in your soul
life right there. Jesus. <laughs> and as things get warmer, things get wetter. We have like a, a lake over here. Have I showed you this yet? I'm not sure if I've showed the vlog this yet. It's frozen right now because we had a bit of a colder night last night. Anyway, still walk on it. This is probably about six inches of water right here. It's not the deepest, but it's a low point of the yard. We really do need to uh, raise our yard up a little bit eventually, but man, we have so many other projects going right now. We'll uh, worry about those first. Where's everybody? Chevy? Frank? Frank? Frank, what you doing? Frank! Frank! I thought he was eating something he shouldn't eat. It was just a brown leaf. False alarm. Wasn't what I thought it might be. Yeah, this area of the yard here is pretty low too. A little bit of flooding in here. But it'd easily be fixed with just some landscaping. But... Oh, we have to do our crawl space. Get that vapor barriered. Uh, we have to do our living area, get proper ventilation, a new HRV or HVAC system, whatever it's called. And then our attic needs to be looked at. So we're starting from the bottom, working our way up, getting the structure of the house uh, 100%. And then we're going to start uh, with other renovations. But I'm tired. I'm going to call it a day here. The sun is still high in the sky, so good news, summer's coming. Might not look like it yet. But summer is coming. You can tell because the sun's still up there. You can tell it's almost summer by the way that it is. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I think I'm going to go to bed early. <laughs>